We're going to do a lesson on this, the runtime stack, and in particular, the relationship between the memory dumps that we see in debug and the drawings that we use to represent the runtime stack when we're doing design or when we're trying to explain concepts. Okay, so when we're with the stack, we're now dealing with the stack segment along with the stack register. We see that right now the stack register, SP, the stack pointer, is contains FF, FFEE. -E. And when we draw it, we show that it is pointing below the bottom of the stack. We're going to now put some things in the stack, and we're going to do that by pushing. So, let's assemble C. 100 and we're going to do it by doing pushes okay we're going to push the contents of ax on the stack we're going to push the contents of bx on the stack and then we're going to push the contents of bx again on the stack so we're going to do three pushes okay followed by three pops but we're going to pop the first one off in cx pop the second one off into BX and pop the third one off into AX. Okay? Right now AX, BX, and CX all contain zero. To make this interesting, let's change the contents of AX. So AX is going to say, let's make it equal to AABB. And let's make register BX equal to CCDD. Again, I'm using different values in each of the lower byte and the high byte. Okay, so review. Our stack pointer is FFEE. -E. Our register of AX and BX. And we're going to execute the instruction of push AX, push BX, push BX. Okay, but we're going to do it one by one. So, execute the first one, push AX. What has changed here? In terms of the registers, AX and BX, they haven't changed. The, what a push does is it changes the contents of memory in addressed by the stack pointer. So what has changed is the stack pointer has gone from FE to EC. Okay, so it's gone from EE -E, and it's gone up to CC. So we say that it's been dragged over here and it's now pointing to this location. Okay? And this location now, if we look at it, if we do a dump, not of the code segment, the data segment, but in the stack segment, and we dump it at FFEC, we see that FFEC contains AABB. Now remember, when we draw stack diagrams, the width of this is 16 bits, because stack operations are always word-oriented. So the contents of this word location at stack segment FFEC is a, A, B, B. Notice how I flipped it because I'm representing the word. Okay? When we're doing stack frames, the width of the drawing is assumed to be 16 bits. Now, we're going to execute the next instruction, and that is to push BX. Okay? So the next instruction, what has happened? The SP has now gone to A. So we see that it's gone to A. So that means it's now pointing to an address that's lower in memory. And if we look at it, okay, let's look at display stack segment FFEA we see that it's got CCDD, where CCDD came from BX. So again, we do our little Indian swapping, CCDD. Okay? I want you to understand the relationship of these byte dumps, the memory dumps, 
and the drawings that we do in class. Now the next instruction is to push BX again. We can just play around with it and go register BX and we can change instead of CCDD we can go EEFF. Okay, so again playing with the debugger is always fun. So if we now execute this instruction of push BX where BX now contains F EEFF let's hit return let's hit return there we go again our stack pointer has gone down another two and meaning that it's pointing to the top of the stack there and it should be equal to EEFF let's confirm that display stack segment and what's our stack segment? F F E eight. So we now see yes indeed we've got E E F F followed by C C D D followed by A A B B. This is how our stack is growing. Now if I just display, remember our code, the code that we put in. It was push 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 pop pop pop. Notice that I've changed the registers that I've popped in. I've made them CX, BX, and AX. Can you predict what these values will be when we come back, when I execute the next three instructions? So, our registers, our IP is pointing at 103, so we're about to pop the top of the stack into CX. Then we're going to pop the top of the stack into BX. Then we're going to pop the stack into AX. Okay, so to be clear, let's go AX, let's make it zero, register BX, we're going to make it zero, and register CX is already zero. Okay, I'm going to pop the first one, remember, we're going to pop this one. So with a pop, see that the stack pointer has gone to A and CX contains the top of the stack so now the top of the stack is CD I'm going to execute T again whoops T and now we see that BX contains CCDD our stack pointer has gone to C and we draw that as pointing down to this location. And now if we execute our last instruction, we now have AX set back to AABB. Okay? So play around with the stack and get to know how it grows and it ebbs.